Now that we understand monomials, let's look at polynomials. A polynomial is either a single monomial or a sum of multiple monomials. Some special cases of polynomials include monomials, which we've already seen, binomials, which are the sum of two monomials, and trinomials, which are the sum of three monomials. Let's look at a few examples to understand what this means. 3x, 12y minus a times z squared, and n to the fifth plus n cubed plus n plus 1 are all examples of polynomials. Notice that 3x doesn't have any addition or subtraction, so it's just a monomial. Now, 12y minus az squared has two different terms, which are subtracted. So this is a binomial. Finally, n to the fifth plus n cubed plus n plus 1 has four different terms, so it does not get a special name. An important property of all polynomials is its degree. We define the degree of a monomial to be the sum of the exponents of all the variables in it. So the degree of 3x is, is 1. This is because x is not raised to any power, and the 3 is not a variable, so it does not count. Now, the degree of a polynomial is going to be the degree of the monomial component, which has largest degree. So if we look at the second polynomial, 12y minus az squared, first notice that 12y has degree 1, since it's just y, not raised to any power. But the second term, a times z squared, has degree 3. This is because z is raised to the power 2, and there's an additional variable, a. So the 2 from the z and the 1 from the a add up to 3. Since 3 is larger than 1, and the degree of a polynomial has the degree of the largest degree amongst monomials, this polynomial has degree 3. Finally, let's look at n to the fifth plus n cubed plus n plus 1. Now this one is easy, since the degree of a monomial, which only has a single variable in it, is always going to be the power of that variable. So n to the fifth has degree 5, n cubed has degree 3, n has degree 1, and finally, the term 1 has degree 0 by convention, since there are no variables in it at all. Looking at all these terms, it's clear that the polynomial overall will have degree 5, since 5 is the largest degree amongst the monomials. It is usually convenient to write polynomials in a particular order so that they're easier to use. The two most useful ways to order a polynomial are in ascending order and in descending order. First, we have to choose a variable, which is probably the most important variable in the polynomial. And then, we want to order the terms of the polynomial so that the, the powers of that variable either increase in ascending order from left to right, or decrease in descending order from left to right. Consider the polynomial 1 plus 2x cubed minus 3x. Let's order this polynomial over the variable x. To do that, we first must figure out what the degree of each term is. The first term, 1, has degree 0. The second term has degree 3, since it's x raised to the power 3. And the last term, minus 3x, has degree 1. Now we can write this in ascending order as 1 minus 3x plus 2x squared, or sorry, 2x cubed. So we can write it in descending order as 2x cubed minus 3x plus 1. Now for the ascending order, the degrees read 0, 1, and 3 from left to right, which is in increasing order. And for the descending order polynomial, they are 
3, 1, and 0 from left to right.